Hello and thanks for joining me for a little bit of Escape the Pacific. So, starting off a new series here, going to be just a bit of a, a walkthrough and a guide for beginners. So I'll jump into it. I am on the experimental branch. This is a uh, early access game. So we're going to jump in, we're going to hit single player. Now up here you'll have profiles. Or you can have up to four different save profiles you can rename them uh, or you can just leave that at default i'm going to click new for a new game sandbox is the only selection that we have in this particular moment uh, now next we go to world and it'll generate an island we can have a look there this one looks pretty small there's not much there don't like the island that you see you can generate a new seed you can have a look and you can put your right hold down your uh, left mouse button and you can spin it around have a look at what's there so we'll just have a look at a few more that one looks pretty big plenty of stuff on that island That one's maybe too big for us. So you can just generate, keep generating a new seed until you find one that you like. And this one looks half decent. Looks like we've got some bananas. Got some palm trees. So the main thing that you're going to want starting out is probably some palm trees um you know i have seen people that have started on an island with absolutely nothing but rocks on it and you can't build anything and the only thing they've been able to do is swim to another island this one will do now if you want to play this exact same seed that i'm playing you can go into here Click on edit seed and type in this number right here and you'll be playing the exact same map that I'm playing right now. I've also showcased another really cool seed that has a really big island cluster that you start on. Plenty of resources, a lot of fun, a uh, really good island for base building and that's where you put in the seed number. So we'll give this one a go. We'll go to difficulty. Uh, at the moment, survival is the only one we can choose. Any that have an asterisk are still planned features that haven't been added to the game. With your difficulty level, the only thing this really changes is the amount of stuff that you need, the amount of resources that it takes to, to build stuff. And so I don't find that it really has a great impact on your survival. It just makes the game more grindier. And so I'm going to put it on easy because this is just going to be a nice, relaxed uh, beginner's tutorial. I don't want to spend too much time running around grinding for resources uh, while I want to be showing this stuff. So we'll, we'll leave it on easy. Uh, the role we can't really change. Can't change the pace. Character. At the moment we only have David... They do have a female character planned, but it's not in the game just yet. I'm not going to muck with any of these. Not going to mess with any of this. In here. Now, sharks. They have the models in the game, but there's no interaction with them. Um, but diving underwater in this game gives me the heebie-jeebies, and uh, the sharks give me the willies as well, so... I'm just going to untick it. That's just my personal preference. Uh, spent enough of my time in my early childhood in a tuna fishing town where they had plenty of sharks. So I've seen my fair share. I'm going to leave the pirate ships on. Uh, you see them very rarely. You can't interact with them, at least not at this stage. Uh, they do, from time to time, drop stuff off at other islands, supposed. But, uh, all right. That's all we need to do. I'm going to hit start a new game. It'll just take a minute or two to uh, render our map in. And there we go. It's plunked us in the water. 
Now, our island is behind us. So just spin around. And we're just going to swim to the shore. The white line that you can see at the top is our oxygen. While we're diving underwater, the red line is our health. And that'll go away once we're out of the water. So we need a couple of things. So I'll pick up a rock. And... Let me see, we've got a couple of sticks here. Go and find another stick. There's one. Okay. So, you want to find yourself at least three sticks. And one of these. And we're going to pull out our rock that we picked up. I'm going to give this a tap. You might need two of these to pen. Sometimes you get more out of it. So you give that a couple of hits with your rock, and then you'll get one of these small carving rocks. So from there, I'm going to give the small carving rock a bit of a hit, and then you'll get a hammerstone shard. So we're going to pick that up, pick up one of our sticks, we're going to press C on the keyboard, and we're going to click on the hammer, and it'll place down like a little ghost. So we add our stick to it, now, in our inventory, you can see these are our pockets, and they're numbered. So, our hammerstone shard is in pocket number two. We can hit number two. And there we go. And our other stone that we picked up is in number one. Give that a couple of whacks with the stone. And there we go. Now we have a hammer. Leave that on the ground for the minute. Give this another couple of hits. You can also hit this with your hammer, but your hammer will wear out. And, uh, may as well just use a rock. So now we've got hammerstone shard again. We'll whack that a couple more times. And that breaks down to an axe stone shard. So, now we hit C again. And put down the ghost of our axe. Add the axe stone shard. Add a stick to it. And now we need our hammer. Give it a couple of whacks. Press Q to drop our hammer. Got an axe there now. We need this stick. We'll get our rock back out. Couple more hits on this. And we'll break this down. Break it down again to an axe stone shard. And then we'll hit that again. And we get a knife stone shard. So we'll pick that up. We'll hit C. Put down the ghost of our knife. Add that to it. Add our stick to it. Pick up our hammer. Give it a couple of whacks. Drop our hammer for now. Pick up our knife. Pick up our axe. So at the moment, we can only hold these three things. We can drop our rock. So what we want to do now is we want to make a tool belt and a couple of bags. So we want to find ourselves a palm tree. Now you don't want to chop down these banana trees because they grow bananas and the banana tree won't grow back. Same as these, uh, well, they're young papaya trees. I don't know if they'll ever grow any papayas. Let's find ourselves a palm tree. See if we've got any low ones. I don't think we do. We've only got these tall ones. All right, this one will do. Start chopping that down. And there she goes. And we'll have a whack at the palm fronds. Okay. Let's pick up a few of these. Okay, so we've got five, I think. So we'll come back over to... Uh, 
where we were building stuff. Over here. Yep. Alrighty. So. Now when when you want to drop these things, if you like you press Q to drop stuff. But if we do this with these things, they collide. So you get that collision thing. Especially if you want to put them all nice and neat and it won't let you drop them. Uh, sometimes it does. Like eventually it did. An easy way. If you want to stack them up nice and neat. If you hit C. Under your tools tab. Click on one of these palm frond packs. You know, it does say you need a small rope. But we're not going to actually make it. We're just going to place it down. Add the fronds to it. And then we're going to right click. And there they are. Nice, nice and neatly stacked. So. We hit C again, we go to equipment, we need ourselves a tool belt, pop that down, we also want a side bag, pop that down, and we'll want a backpack, so we'll pop that down. So we need a palm frond for each one, and if you had the difficulty setting turned up we'd need more palm fronds and sticks and stuff for each thing. We'll add one of those to each. We need a small stick for that. Uh, see if we can see one lying around. There's one. So we'll grab that. I'll head back over here. Add that to our backpack. And now we want number one, pull up our knife, depending on what pocket it's in. Now it's not in a pocket because it's in our hand. So we're going to give our tool belt a few whacks. We're going to hit P and that will equip it to us. So now we can drag our, our axe. Put that in, I like to keep that in number three, it's up to you. Put our knife in number four. Now we'll go pick up our hammer. And we'll put that in number five. So now these are your hotkeys, so you press three, four or five to access the tools in your tool belt. And they'll go back into your tool belt when you're no longer using them. So we'll pull out our, uh, our hammer again. And, no, sorry, we need our knife. So we'll go uh, four. Give it a whack with our knife. Ten times. You can just hold down your mouse button. P. And now we have this inventory. And same with our little side bag. And that's a tutorial that pops up. We're going to skip that. Those tutorial things aren't really... They don't hold your hand. They don't really do much than other than being, be a bit of annoying. So we'll put our side bag on and there we go. So now we've got basic tools and we can carry stuff. So one thing to note is that you do not want to go in the water while you're wearing your bags and your tools. So if you want to go in the water, you hit these little X's, drop these off. Now you can go diving with your tool belt, but I wouldn't go with your hammer and axe equipped. Just take a knife, uh, but usually just dump them all and then you can go for a swim. If you are wearing those and you get down into this deeper water where you are actually swimming then your bags and your tools and everything that you're carrying is going to weigh you down and you won't be able to get back to the surface or back to the uh, back to the shore and you'll end up drowning so that's it uh, basic tools and bags now we'll show you one other little trick so 
we'll hit three to bring up our axe and we'll just press q to drop it on the ground and you can see it uh it has a little green line down the bottom underneath it you can see as i hover over it down by where it says pick up now also in your tab here you can see there's green lines here now your tools will wear out so if we go and find ourselves our rock again can also use your hammer give it a whack now it won't always repair to exactly 100 percent sometimes you get 98 97 depending on how far it's worn down um, to make an even number of 100 but anytime anytime your axe gets low and this works on other axes that you find as well not just your crafted ones and the same with your knives as well so your hammer will wear down and you can't repair your hammer you'll have to make another one but uh there we go basic tools and bags and now we can carry around a lot more stuff and we're equipped to start building the things that we need to survive so that's going to do it for this episode so if you did enjoy this episode please leave me a like or a comment down below and if you want to see more then please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.